Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question today is to the minister responsible for seniors. Minister, why is your government cutting seniors' access to physiotherapy? Minister responsible for seniors. Speaker, in, uh, I appreciate the question from the member, and I'm sure that the minister responsible for health wants to uh, uh, perhaps uh, deal with the uh, supplementary question. But let me say that as far as we are concerned, Speaker, seniors, uh, 218,000 more seniors are receiving the benefit of physiotherapy. I think it's, 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 uh, speaker, this is the kind of service that we want to provide to our citizens in Ontario, and I'm very thankful that the Premier and the Minister of Health are doing everything possible to increase the services we provide to our seniors. And I hope that uh, we'll get the supplementary, and uh, I will ask the Minister of Health, Speaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Minister, a cut is a cut is a cut. Minister, last week I visited the residents of Clare retirement home in Waterloo. Physiotherapy services are currently provided at Clare Hills, but seniors there have been told that they will no longer have services after August 1st. When I asked the seniors who needs physiotherapy in this room, every hand in the room went up. Our office received a letter from Elsie Poulson, whose 88-year-old father was a resident at Luther Village Assisted Living in Waterloo. Elsie described the gains that her father has made in balance, strength, mobility, and emotional well-being from using physiotherapy. These gains are threatened because Luther Village Member will from be England using and Lawrence, come to order, second time. Too. These are needed services. Stop the clock. The member from Englington Lords kept talking while I was trying to ask him to stop, and the, mem and the Minister of Training Colleges and Universities will stop. Please finish. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. These are needed services that improve the lives of seniors across the province. Minister, can you explain to these seniors who have been told that they will be losing their physiotherapy services Question. after August 1st how your government will continue to ensure they receive the physio care that they deserve? 